is pop-up day. So if you haven't been keeping up, I'm doing a couple of pop-ups this week, which I'm very excited about. Today I'm doing a pop-up at Indiana University down in Bloomington, which will be kind of fun because I happen to know a lot of people down there because half of my high school went there. There are pros and cons to that fact, but you know, Regardless, I'm very excited to go do that and just hang out with some friends as well So we're doing that today and then on Saturday I have a pop-up at a local coffee shop with my friend Anna who has a curated style boxes with thrifted clothing So she's gonna bring a bunch of her thrifted items for people to shop and I'm gonna have my stuff And then obviously it's a coffee shop. So we'll have coffee. They have also mimosas and all the things So it's gonna be super fun, but that's kind of what we're gonna be vlogging today So I'm excited. I need to pack up all my stuff I think I have kind of everything ready, but I'll run you guys through like my list of things that I'm like bringing with me for the pop-up and like you know we'll see I've honestly never like hosted my own pop-up at all really I've done one pop-up in LA where I just like sent over my stuff basically and it was there for like two weeks and then I just recently did like a little pop-up event in LA but it was less of like a pop-up and more of like a just event for to like hang out with a pop-up so I've never done like a market style like people are purposefully coming to like just shop at different little booths if that makes sense so i'm very excited but obviously it's the first one maybe we'll learn some stuff i'll tell you guys what worked what didn't but let's get into all the things that i got okay so i've had everything just kind of like sitting here for a hot minute but first things first i got myself a sign with like my shop and my stuff so that people can like see it from afar so that's what it looks like so we got that then i also got these two little like table signs they have a little backing so they can stand up this one scans to my sustainability page so people can like quickly read up on that obviously since that's like a very important part of my brand and then this has all of my links instagram tiktok youtube and my website quick access to all my stuff basically then i also got little bags and i stamped my logo onto them so that they're like you know branded without having to spend the money on actually getting branded ones and then i will be putting my business card in them so i don't really use my business cards very often it's very rare that people ask me for them because most people just ask me for my instagram but usually like adults will ask me for business cards and i do have them on me at all times but this is my business card and then on the back this is what it says i need to change my email because i recently changed it to have like a to have my own like web address at the end so my new business email is like natalia at nataliatrevinomaro.com but obviously i'm not going to throw all these away just to change my email on it and i do still use that email i'm just trying to separate out like my youtube like sponsorship stuff and personal stuff on my email towards like a business email and i also think that having that like at nataliatrevinomaro.com at the end of it makes it look more professional and official and if i reach out to people it just Makes me look a little bit more legit. So if you're ever wanting to email me like business inquiries, like go to that email. And then of course I packed my little like note cards that I put into every order that just says thank you for your order and like all the good stuff. So that's it for packaging. Then as far as like actual products and stuff, I obviously have like pretty pricey products. All of my stuff is handmade. So obviously the price reflects that. And clothing is not quick to make. So obviously the prices reflect that. And since I am going to be going A to a college campus and then like just a random local coffee shop, like I don't expect people to drop that kind of money on me like right off the bat unless they know me and they come in already knowing that they want something or something like that but I don't expect it I hope for it but I don't expect it so I was like I want to have a couple of things that maybe are a little bit more reasonably priced so that people could just like drop some money on me if they just like really like my brand and want support in some sort of way so I made a bunch of scrunchies have this cute little basket of them which I think is super fun and cute so I've got like little white ones got little champagne cream ones Ones. all these are scraps from like you know past collections or this is from like the current collection so i have these i have these from the ines dress as well i think those are just the four colors i have but i have a good amount of them so yeah there's that i think these are super cute and i did put tags on all of them just to make them a little bit more professional looking so i have like scrunchy five dollars handmade just for you and then it scans to our sustainability page as well because 
again, we're trying to push the fact that we're sustainable here. So I want to make it as easy for people to go to as possible. And then I also went ahead and made a bunch of totes. So these are some of the ones that I have. They have like little zero waste hearts on them, which I did a couple of videos um, kind of showing that process a couple of vlogs back. You want to check that out, but I have a few different colors of them. I still need to a lint roll these because they're black and you can see kind of everything on them. And I also need to put the tags on them still, but these are a few of the ones I have. The other ones are currently in my sewing room because I was finishing them up yesterday. But yeah, I need to put tags on that. And then obviously I have like my actual pieces. I didn't really make a lot of my pieces because I just, again, know that they're probably not going to sell. But I did want to have some out as like samples. And then again, like I don't have their size readily available. They can still just like order it through me right then and there. And they can like see the product in person and be like, oh, this is cute. I want it in my size. And then I can make it for them. So that's kind of the thought process I had with that. So I have like one or two of each top pretty much. So I have, actually I just have one Gabrielle top. I thought I had two. I might have another one. I have like a Gabrielle top in the floral, two in the pink floral. Then I have two Diana dresses as well. And then I have my unreleased patchwork tanks as well, which are made from the Diana dress scraps. So this is like a sneak peek to the summer collection. I will be making a lot more of these in the summer. And these are a little bit more accessible in terms of pricing. These are 85 compared to everything else that's like a hundred above. I know that's still expensive for a lot of people, but it's a little bit more accessible for something that's handmade. And then I have a few leftover Adele tops from the holiday collection that I had pre-made. So I have some of these. I have three of these and then I have four in a tan color. And yeah, that's kind of what I have. I feel like I don't have a whole lot. I don't know. Maybe it actually is a lot. Again, I just don't expect things to sell out. So I feel like it should be fine. But then part of me is like, what if it does actually sell? Like, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and finish up some of the totes and get that situated, put all the tags on them that need the tags, lint roll them, make sure everything's nice. Then we'll kind of package everything up. I think I'm going to put everything on hangers and then put them into garment bags and just like take them that way so that I can iron out things that need to be ironed out and they don't get wrinkly like in my car driving over. Oh, I also got one of these little um, card reader thingies. I really thought these were going to be more expensive, but I think this was only like 50 bucks. So it's really not that bad. These are from the brand Square or are called Square or the app's called Square something square, but my website Squarespace had, like works with them. So it's like seamlessly integrated, which is really nice. But basically I just have like the app on my phone and I can like ring up all the orders and people can like tap to pay or insert their card because I honestly don't really want to do cash. Like I'll do it if we need to, but I really don't want to because I just never have cash on me and I don't want to have to go to the bank to get a bunch of change because I just, I also just don't think it's going to be necessary because realistically, like how many people are going to be paying with cash? I don't know. I never have cash on me. So. Oh, and lastly, I do also have stickers and I think I'm I originally wanted to just like hand these out and part of me still wants to but <laughs> Honestly, it costs a lot of money to get custom printed stickers Like I think these cost me like $200 to get printed which is kind of a lot and I don't really have the kind of excess money to just be giving things out for free so part of me just wants to like sell these probably for like a dollar or something but they say respectfully death fast fashion so thought these were kind of fun especially for like college campus vibes so that is officially everything i have i feel like i'm forgetting something i do also have my ipad which i need to charge so that we can use that for the transactions i feel like that always looks a little bit more professional so i'll do that make sure everything else is fully charged and yeah i guess we'll start tagging all of the totes and start packing everything up <laughs> totes already prepped i do still have to put little laundry tags on some of them because these came in after i had already started making them so i'm gonna just like sew them into the inside but it just says that it's 100 percent cotton and you know it says made with people in the planet in mind so it's like cute little added something but i have all of these right here that need it the black ones i did put in yesterday so just have these to do i'm gonna do it on this machine just because the other one currently has black thread and i might be making black totes later and i just don't feel like switching out the thread right now that's like laziness at its finest because it's literally so easy to like thread that but i just don't feel like it so we're gonna do it on this one and yeah then those will be completely ready to go and then depending on like timeline of stuff we'll see what else we have to do i do have like 
like one more Gabrielle top here that um, could be finished that I could also take. I just need to do the sleeves and then put in the grommets. So I might do that one so that I have two of that and then we'll see what else, but coats first. to all the totes that I had pre-made and I think that while I'm at it on this machine I'm gonna go ahead and do the shirring that I need on the sleeves for this so that I can finish this one up and have it for the pop-up as well because I don't know now I'm like freaking out that I don't have enough stuff like I feel like I do but I also feel like I don't I don't know so whatever we're just gonna try to make as much as we can this morning before we leave I think I'm leaving probably around like one ish or so maybe two so I do have a good amount of time because it's only about 9 45 right now so we'll see how much we get done we'll get this one finished up to get one more top in there and then maybe we'll do some more totes or something I don't know we'll figure it out this top i have it all laced up in the back and everything so got another gabrielle top for the pop-ups which is good because i think i only had one so now i have two of each i think i have two of these i think i have two of the pink ones and then two diana dresses and then i realized i don't have any flora tops but i do have one that i just need to fix because i accidentally put the arms on it upside down so like the tap like obviously the pattern could be upside down and you wouldn't tell a difference because it's literally like all the same but the tag is like upside down on the back so I need to obviously fix that. So I'm just going to quickly like seam rip it and get that situated so that I have one flora top. And I'm thinking if I have enough time, I might want to make another flora top, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough time. I'm trying to delegate my time between like the totes or making more tops. But I feel like maybe if I just have one flora top, that could work as a sample and then people can order their size if they need it. And the totes are more likely to actually sell in the moment, I feel like. So maybe I should just focus on the totes. I want to get some of them embroidered with my logo on white because I don't think I have any with that yet. I think that would be really cute. So maybe that's what I'm going to focus my time on. But I'm going to fix the floor top first and then we'll get to the totes I think. <music> Okay, I fixed the flora top. I was originally going to just switch out the like sleeves, but I ended up just switching out the label itself because I figured that would cause less damage. I had to like obviously hand sew it since I usually sew it onto just the lining so it doesn't show on the other side but um, I think that was a better fix than trying to seam rip this because I obviously go back and forth on it a bunch so that it obviously stays in place since it is the arms and you are going to move them around a lot. So I figured this would be better. So now we have one floor top at least which is really good and yeah moving on to the totes. I think I want to have at least like maybe two or three done. We'll see how many but at least two with my logo I think would be really really Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start embroidering one of these totes, which if you watched one of my vlogs previously, it may have been a couple weeks ago by the time this one's up. I was struggling so hard to figure out how to freaking hoop this tote, and I was like, I literally can't do it. I was just being dumb. I do know how to use an embroidery machine. Sometimes I just, do you ever just overcomplicate things too much because it's the same. Anyway, I'm gonna embroider this with my logo with white, and while I do that, I'm gonna start sewing up some other totes that I have prepped, and then hopefully we can get a few of these out out as well but yeah i'm feeling a little bit better about the quantity of stuff i have i just i feel like i'm overthinking it too much and i do this every single time and then i never end up like you're never gonna like fully sell out probably unless you have smaller stuff that's like more reasonably priced or like more that's more like accessible to people like i don't know i just feel like you probably aren't likely to sell out when you do pop up so i shouldn't be so worried but i still am that being said let's embroider <laughs> and side note i do have a Recoma em 1010 embroider machine it is the greatest thing ever i love it so so much i do have a link for you guys if you want to check it out it'll be linked down below they have zero percent financing options which is literally like music to my ears i know it probably is to you guys too and payments can start as low as like hundred dollars per month and they also have promotions pretty often i 
I would say around the holidays, whether it's like Labor Day season, Memorial Day, President's Day, they do a bunch of promotions all the time. So definitely keep an eye out for those as well. I don't know if there's any ongoing ones when this goes up, but do be on the lookout for that. I try to post about them when I can. So follow me on Instagram if you haven't so you don't miss out on those updates. But yeah, check them out down below. Let's get embroidering. <laughs> So I just loaded the entire car. I ended up getting really stressed about time because it's like 12-ish, I think, or maybe close to one at this point. JK, it's only 12.20. But I started freaking out. I was like, oh my God, I'm running so late. So packed the entire car, we managed. It took me a hot second because I had to undo the whole like rack because it should fit, but it was like this much too big for it to fit in my freaking mini. This is not the ideal car to have when you're doing pop-ups, but we managed to make it work. I also really wanted to bring my white rack that's in my office, but that one's a little too big and I, like undoing it isn't as simple as this one that I usually have just here in my garage. So we brought this one instead. We got all the clothing packed up in garment bags. I've got everything else. Uh, totes are in the suitcase. These are all of my packaging bags and stuff. And yeah, I'm like trying to go over everything again to make sure I have everything, but I think we're good. So I'm gonna plug in Kennedy's address and we're just gonna go over there. We're gonna have lunch and then we'll go over to start getting everything set up. So catch you guys when I'm there. <laughs> day the pop-up yesterday was really really fun we had a lot of foot traffic which was honestly kind of unexpected because the original like little market thing is like outside and it's that kind of vibe with like food trucks and stuff but we had really bad weather yesterday it started like hailing and it was really cold so they made it um inside in the auditorium so we didn't expect a lot of people to like really pass by but honestly a lot of people did so it was super fun didn't really sell much because obviously like it's college students who has money to just like drop but hopefully got a lot of people to follow me and like you know at least keep up with me which is really good also met a couple of you guys that like actually follow me which is really cool so that was really fun and then I obviously just got to hang out with my friends for the rest of the night and I just got home it's like 2 p.m. I have to go to Noble Coffee and Tea at 4 to meet up with Anna to kind of like start prepping for our pop-up tomorrow so I have about two hours to get that together and I also have about a million emails to answer from yesterday that I didn't so I'm kind of all over the place but I'm going to answer some emails and then we're gonna go set up my battery died anyway as I was saying we're gonna go set up for the pop-up today and I also just feel like I didn't have a lot of stuff like I know that I am not gonna be selling a lot clothing wise probably but i still feel like i didn't have a lot to showcase and i also i think that there was multiple things that i could have done better obviously it's a learning experience but i think that i needed to like specify that i'm like a made to order brand and that like if you don't see your size like you can order it through me and it's like custom made because i don't think that was specified enough just like outwardly if you're just like looking at my stuff so i kind of want to have signs that say that like next to my clothing racks just so people can get an idea of it and it doesn't look like i only carry size two and four because i think that's most of what i have so that's one thing that i really 
think that I could have done better with. And then I just feel like I need to work on selling myself better. I don't do super, super well with sales in terms of like being able to like market myself or like sell myself. Like I'm not a salesperson whatsoever. Like I think I'm good at marketing in terms of like I know my like audience, I know like social media marketing really well, but I really haven't had a lot of experience with in-person kind of marketing and like having to pitch myself to people or anything like that. So you know, Kennedy and I both learned a lot in how to do that. I feel like at first we were very rusty and we weren't like really doing much to like, I don't know, get people to take my business cards or anything, but I feel like towards the middle and end we like got into a groove of like, oh, at least like take my business card if you like it. Cause a lot of people are coming by and like, we're telling me they love my stuff. Like it's so cool, blah, blah. But obviously like I couldn't afford it or buy it right now or whatever. But I feel like we like missed on a few opportunities at the beginning to be like, oh, we'll follow us on Instagram to like, you know, keep up or whatever. So we got a little bit better at that. So, you know, living and learning, but it was overall, I think really good. And it was a good experience for both of us to kind of get a vibe because we also haven't really done anything business related together yet. Like we both kind of work separately on stuff for me, but we haven't really done like an event together in person except for like Joshua Tree last year, but it was kind of a different vibe. So it wasn't like that kind of style. So it was also fun to like, I don't know, see like Kennedy selling me and like doing that. I think it was fun. So it was a good experience. And yeah, and then we ended up going out um, which I don't really ever go out, but we were out till two and I never do that. And then we woke up at 10 and I'm just like so frazzled, so much to do. I saw it coming, but was not ready. Um, so anyway, I'm drinking some super frow, which they sent these over to me the other day. I literally got like a huge package of these and they're super good. They're made with upcycled whey, which is really cool. So they, I don't know the exact like terminology or process because I don't have this memorized. It's something about like food waste and there being like excess whey, fresh whey in some sort of process and then they take that to make these drinks or whatever something along those lines i know they're like reducing food waste with it which is really cool and they're also like really good this one's cucumber lime i had a mango no peach mango one the other day but super good anyway they're a small business too so if you want to check them out do so they're really good i think they're starting to sell at like whole foods and those type of stores as well which is also cool but trying to get some energy with that and get through all of this i have a million emails like i said that i need to get through and then yeah we gotta we gotta go to the coffee shop start setting up and get that figured out I really haven't put much thought into it, so we'll see where we go, but I'm gonna do that and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Good morning guys. It is the next day. I'm literally about to leave for the pop-up. It's like 8 45 and then I planned on getting there at 9 to like finish setting up. Also grab some coffee because I haven't had any today yet and I'm definitely gonna need it. And yeah, I'm finished setting up. I really didn't set up much yesterday. I just put up my rack and kind of like figured out the room layout. We like moved the tables and stuff. So we really didn't do too much yesterday in terms of like actually setting up. So I'm gonna do that today. And yeah, I'm finishing packing up a few last minute things. I made a couple of little like papers that have little educational content stuff on them to hopefully, you know, aid with that whole situation. I'm like trying to think if there's anything else I should bring, but I think I'm good. Everything else is in my car. I didn't even unpack it from the last pop-up. So I think we should be golden. I'm gonna have one rack and then a couple little tables with like stuff on it. And that's what I'm thinking. So yeah. I'm gonna grab a couple of last minute things I need and then we will head out. Here's our setup. We've got some cute little fun facts sponsored by Anna because I didn't have time. Here's a little not really cute um, checkout area. We've got Anna's side. Um, super cute. Doomsday little quote. <laughs> I'm kidding. And then we've got... <laughs> We've got my rack, we've got totes, all the stuff. And then I made this little sign to tell people that they could also order their own size because just want to look inclusive. Um, we've got a little zero waste moment. Brought my little scraps. Got the banner and scrunchies. And then my little, what are these called? QR codes. Oh, I should move this out of the way. Beautiful. Yeah.